The movie started in the land of Kandak, while the land thrived for centuries, things changed when the tyrannical King Octun took over and enslaved his people to mine a powerful material called Eternium. Octun created the crown of Sabak in the hopes of achieving the power of a monstrous demon. An elder man finds Eternium and is hounded for it by other slaves in hopes of being rewarded by the king. A boy helps the man get free and delivers the Eternium to one of the king's soldiers. Instead of a reward, the elder man is stabbed and thrown off a cliff. The boy's father pulls him away and urges him not to try and be a hero. The boy then grabs the Eternium from the soldier and runs off with it but is eventually caught and sentenced to death. When he is about to be executed, his body vanishes as he appears before the Council of Wizards, who choose the boy as their champion and give him the powers of Shazam. However, the legend states that the champion confronted Octon and destroyed him and his palace before vanishing forever. In the present day, Kondak has fallen under the rule of a mercenary team called Intergang. They are currently looking for a fugitive named Adriana Tomas, but she passes through a security checkpoint with her brother Kareem plus companion Samir and Ishmael Gregor, the team arrives at a cave where Adriana hopes to find the crown of Sabak for research purposes. While Kareem is waiting in the van, Samir's body falls off a cliff. Intergang mercenaries show up and hold the other three at gunpoint after Adriana manages to acquire the crown. The lead mercenaries holds a gun to her head and forces her to give up the crown, but Adriana begins to read the inscription in the cave, awakening Kondak's supposed champion, Adam. The mercenaries try to attack Adam but are swiftly torn apart one by one. The cave begins to collapse with Ishmael supposedly perishing. Adriana escapes with Kareem, but they are found by Adam, who proceeds to slaughter more mercenaries in choppers and tanks. As he approaches their van, a rocket made of Eternium is fired at Adam, wounding him when it explodes. He tries to fly away but falls and is taken in by Adriana. Ishmael turns out to be alive, as he is leading Intergang and wanted to get the crown for himself. He tells the other agents to locate Adriana. Meanwhile, superhero Carter Hall Hawkman speaks to Amanda Waller about Adam's awakening and the chaos he left behind. She enlists him to gather his team, the Justice Society of America Maxine Hunkel Cyclone, who can control wind and sound, Adam Smasher who has a suit that can make him grow, which he inherited from his uncle Dr. Fate who wears a helmet that shows him and gives him powers of sorcery. They fly off to Kondak to bring Adam to Waller. While touching the helmet, Fate sees a vision of destruction and what appears to be Hawkman being killed. Adam wakes up in the bedroom of Adriana's son Amon who is obsessed with superheroes and is excited to meet the champion of Kondak. Adam walks through the wall and formally meets Adriana and Kareem, who explains how the citizens see him as a hero and protector, although Adam says he is no hero. Adam flies into the city and sees a statue of the champion. Amon gets some intergang mercs to follow him to get Adam's attention. It works, and Adam begins to lay into the mercs, which in turn gets the attention of the Justice Society. Hawkman and Fate exit their jet to save two mercs that Adam dropped before they go after him. Adam battles the two before Cyclone and Smasher enter the picture. Despite their efforts, Adriana confronts the Justice Society and tells them that none of them bothered to help Kondak the whole time that Intergang was taking over, and Adam is the first person to give the mercs what they deserve but Hawkman doesn't think they need to be killed to be brought to justice. Adriana finds Adam and speaks to him over what she has learned from the Justice Society regarding Adam's true story. Adam's confrontation with Octon was said to be out of revenge, and when he unleashed his power to kill the king, it went out of control and destroyed not only Octon and his forces, but a large part of Kondak. The wizards then imprison Adam in the cave where Adriana found him. The Justice Society show up in an attempt to bring Adam in, but he flies away after Adriana asks him to protect Amon. Ishmael gets to Adriana's apartment and aims his gun at Amon and Kareem since he knows they have the crown. Kareem fights Ishmael long enough for Amon to try and get away, but Kareem is shot. The intergang mercs go after Amon until Adam shows up to deliver another beatdown. Ishmael grabs Amon and flies away on a hoverbike. Adam goes after them, along with the Justice Society. Unfortunately, Ishmael escapes. 
Everyone regroups at the apartment, where fate has tended to Kareem's wound. Fate also tells Adriana not to blame herself for inter gang killing her husband. The team gathers two mercs in an attempt to interrogate them for information, but Adam tries to threaten them for info. One of them says that Ishmael is headed to a mine. Adam and Hawkman get into a fight after disagreeing over their methods of handling business, trashing their way through the apartment until they find the crown hidden in Amon's room. On their way to the mine, Adriana and Cyclone try to decipher the writing on the crown. Adriana originally interpreted it as life is the only path to death, but it turns out that she was reading it upside down and that the phrase is death is the only path to life. Kent then tells Carter about his vision, but expresses hope that there is a way to change his future. Upon arriving at the mine, Adam proceeds to mow down more mercs before they find Ishmael and Amon, the former having been counting on Adam showing up with the crown. Adriana is forced to give it up for Amon's life, but Ishmael attempts to shoot the boy anyway before donning the crown. Adam manages to fly fast enough to catch the bullet, but his powers explode, frying Ishmael to a crisp, but Hawkman protects Adriana with his wings, fate shields Amon, and Smasher saves Cyclone from the blast. After seeing the extent of his destruction and causing Amon to be wounded, Adam tries to fly away. He is found by Hawkman and forced to divulge his backstory after Ishmael had mentioned the name Hurit. Adam explains that Hurit was the one chosen to be the wizard's champion, but after his parents were attacked by Octun's assassins, with Adam's wife being killed, Hurit gave Adam his powers to save his life. Sadly, the assassins hit Hurit with an arrow, causing Adam to become enraged and go after Octun with no mercy. Realizing he brings more devastation than protection, Adam says Shazam and gives up his powers, willingly allowing the Justice Society to bring him in. Adam is brought in by Amelia Harcourt while the Justice Society tends to Amon and prepares to bring him and Adriana home. However, Ishmael is in hell and is found by the demons that name him as their champion and turn him into Sabak. He emerges as a large red-horned demon and proceeds to rise an army from hell to terrorize Kondak. The Justice Society tries to fight but is easily outmatched. Amon rounds up the citizens to fight back with him, plus Adriana and Kareem, while the superheroes arrive at the ruins of Octun's palace. Fate shields Hawkman, Cyclone, and Smasher from entering as he realizes this is how he can save Hawkman from dying. Fate battles Sabak but uses his powers to contact Adam and get him to wake up and emerge from his pod. He tries to swim out but falls unconscious. Adam sees a vision of his wife and Hurit greeting him, as he believes he is ready to rejoin them. Hurit then tells Adam that it is not his time. Adam manages to make it to the surface and says Shazam to get his powers back. He flies back to Kondak, where he sees Sabak kill Fate. Hawkman, Cyclone, and Smasher make their way into fight. Sabak appears to impale Hawkman as he died in Fate's vision, but he has used Fate's helmet to create illusions of himself to trick Sabak. With Hawkman's approval, Adam taps into his killer instincts to fight Sabak, ending with him grabbing the villain by his horns and splitting him in two, which also causes the undead to be wiped out. Adam parts ways with the Justice Society, while the people of Kondak chant long live the champion. Adam chooses to destroy Octun's throne, vowing to be the protector of Kondak. He also tells Adriana that Taith Adam is too old-fashioned, and that he will now be known as Black Adam. mid credit scene, Adam is found by a drone sent by Waller. She tells him to stay in line, or she will send forces after him. Adam challenges her to do so and then blows up the drone. From the smoke, a figure descends from the sky. He approaches Adam and tells him they need to talk. He steps out from the smoke, revealing none other than the last son of 